Hello everybody, happy Tuesday. It is time for another Tuesday Live at 5 video. I hope you're having a good week. Can you believe Christmas Eve or Christmas Day is two weeks away from today? It is hard to imagine that we are that close. And it's also scary because I am nowhere near ready. I don't know about you guys, but um, you know, my full-time job kind of gets in the way of all the things that I need to do. My to-do list is getting longer and longer by the day and I don't have any time to get stuff done, but that's my problem. I'm sure you guys are all far more organized and far more ready for Christmas than I am. Hi, Elfie. I'm glad you're joining me today. Um, so we are featuring this awesome, awesome bundle from the holiday catalog today. Um, it is the beautiful blizzard bundle. So this is the stamp set. We're going to use a bunch of these images today. And then this is the Thin Lit die, which is probably my most used die um, this holiday season. And uh, you've probably seen me use these snowflakes on lots of projects on my um, past live videos. This is just, it is, it is my favorite die. It has saved me so much time. If you ever, if you need to cut a lot of snowflakes, this is the die to do it. So I'm going to show you a few ways to use this one. Uh, the projects we're going to make today are here. Okay, so lots of variety. You'll notice I'm not doing anything Christmas specific. Hi, Michelle. Give that beautiful grandbaby a kiss for me. Um, so these are not Christmas specific. I don't know about you, but I am done with Christmas cards. <laughs> I am done. So we are focusing on winter and on New Year's. All right, so um, I'm going to get started. The first thing I'm going to do is show you how I created this background using brush out. So it's going to get a little messy. I hope you're ready for some mess today. Um, sometimes it's fun to make a mess when we're creating. So I'm just going to put some paper towel down here to absorb some of the moisture that we're going to get everywhere. And what I have is a piece of the sparkle glimmer paper that I have run through the Big Shot with the die. So before I ran it through, I put some of the multi-purpose adhesive sheet on the back. Um, cut it to the size of my die. Okay, so this is um, five by four. Okay, and ran it through. So now I have a whole bunch of die cut stickers. This is like a sheet of stickers, which is awesome because they are really easy embellishments. I don't know what that little piece of fuzz on, is on there. Um, really easy embellishments to add to projects. That's why I've used this stuff so much, um, this die so much this, this fall. So I'm going to show you how we're going to create that beautiful sparkly blue background. So to do that, I need a couple of things. I need some brusho. Um, brusho comes in, it's in the annual catalog and it comes in a package of five different colors. And we are gonna use the Prussian blue today. Now, you'll notice that I have this little thumbtack in the top. So when you get your brusho, the last thing, I mean, the last thing you wanna do is take the lid off, okay? Because there are little tiny crystal powders of color in here and they get everywhere. So to save yourself a whole lot of aggravation, all you do is take a thumbtack or even a paper piercing tool and poke a few holes and you turn this into kind of like a little salt shaker of um, powder. And then the tack is just in there to plug it up when I am done. The other thing that I need is a stamp and spritzer. This is just filled with water. So first thing I'm gonna do is take and spritz that glimmer paper. Look, see, there's already already some powder on there just from taking the, the um, thumbtack out. Can you see that, how that's reacting? So now I'm gonna take and I'm gonna sprinkle some more of that powder on. This is just like adding salt to your dinner. Not too much, because it's not good for you. And then I'm gonna take and I'm gonna spritz it again. And you're gonna see those crystals activate. This stuff is just magical. It makes me happy every single time I use it. And the more water you add, the more those crystals are gonna activate, okay? And that's all there is to it. And then you let it dry. Now, if you don't have any patience like me and you want to get on with your project, you can just take your heat tool to it and dry that up. Now, I'm not going to subject you to listening to the heat tool today. So I'm going to just slide this aside and bring in one that is already dry that I did ahead of time. We'll get this guy out of the way. And ta-da, here's one that's already done. So once it dries, I didn't use nearly as much powder on this one, it's a little bit softer, um, but this is what you end up with when you're done. So a sheet of sparkly, sort of watercolory looking blue stickers. Okay, super, super easy. So for with what I did with this is I actually used um, the stickers and the background. So we're gonna do this card first. And here are the snowflakes that I created um, earlier. So we're gonna use those to create this project. 
So I'm going to pull out a piece of Whisper White cardstock. So this is four inches by five and a quarter. All right. Oh, I still got blue powder on my fingers. See, I told you we're going to make a mess. That's okay. We'll cover that up. And then I'm going to take this background stamp. So this is um, it's sort of just a splotch. I love these images. <laughs> I love playing with those. They're fun to layer. Um, and it's watercoloring without the water, right? So it's easy peasy. So I'm going to take some balmy blue ink and I'm going to ink up my little spatter stamp. Thanks. Hi, Melissa. How are you? So I'm going to stamp that um, background image once sort of down this corner and once in the upper corner, just like that. Okay. Now, you know what? I think I stamped it off. So we're going to do that again. We're going to stamp off once. That's better. We want those sparkly snowflakes to show up. So we're going to do it like that. There we go. Then I'm going to take the snowflake image. So this is just sort of a little cluster of snowflakes. And I'm going to stamp that a few times. And these I'm going to do full strength because I want them to show up against that sort of spattery background there. Add a few of those guys. And that is that. How easy was that, eh? Super, super easy. All right. Next, I'm going to take a little bit of ribbon. Where did I put my packet? There it is. I got all kinds of goodies in this little packet. We'll just dump all those out. We're going to take a bit of ribbon and we are going to lay that across the front of our panel and we are going to adhere it to the back side. Come on, glue dots. Work with me today. And I didn't put this right center. I put it a little bit lower than center. Okay, just like that. Okay, then I'm before I do anything else, I'm going to go ahead and glue this onto my mat. Okay, so remember how I said this is four by five and a quarter. So to get a mat, you're going to add an eighth of an inch to each measurement. So this is four and one eighth by five and three eighths. Okay, so then I'm going to take a little bit of Fast Fuse and we're going to stick this down. You can use whatever adhesive works for you. And we'll slap that guy down on there and look, there's still powder. That's the thing about brush though. If you don't get rid of, clean off your work surface, <laughs> those little blue crystals, they show up again and again. They're the gift that keeps on giving. But that's okay, because this, this project's good with that. All right, next we're gonna take and add some of these beautiful snowflake stickers. So I'm gonna take some of these big guys, peel them off. Now the thing with this is because the whole surface is sticky. You want to just be gentle with these, right? Plus, this has been wet and dried. So you just want to be gentle. You don't want to tear your snowflakes as you're peeling them off. Ask me how I know. And we'll put one of these up here in the corner. We're going to trim off the excess in a second. And let's put one of these guys down here. Another sticker. Come here, you. Let's go down here. Now these little insides, the middles of your snowflakes, you want to save those. Okay, we're going to use those later. And I don't know, let's do another big one. This guy on here. Oh, hi Debbie. Thanks for tuning in today. We're all about winter. Did you get lots of snow down there? I heard you guys got dumped on in parts of North Carolina. I was seeing that on the news. All right, we're going to tuck another one kind of in here. That's going to be peeking out from behind our label. And we'll throw one of these little guys up here. And the cool thing, when you pop these out of here, they're all sort of, they're different colors. No two snowflakes look alike, which is just what it's like in nature, right? No two snowflakes are alike, which is pretty darn cool. So we'll do one more. This guy's going to cooperate and pop off of here. There we go. We'll put this guy down here. Okay. Oh, maybe one more. I lied. We do want to send a blizzard after all. We'll put this guy here. All right. So now I'm going to take and trim off the excess on these guys. So I'm just going to flip that over and trim along the edge of my cardstock to get rid of those little hanging over bits. Make sure that it'll fit in my envelope. And get rid of that guy. And that guy. All right, there we go. Easy, right? Like that die just does all the work for you. 
All right, next we're gonna go ahead and glue this onto the front of our card. So here I have a five and a half by eight and a half piece of cardstock that I've scored in the middle at four and a quarter to create my card base. And my trusty bone folder will crisp up my folds. We'll add a little bit of adhesive to the back of this. And we're gonna slot that guy down. Oh, this way. So we'll stick that on and you'll see that we have a really narrow little border there, okay? All right, now I need to create my label and this is where you get a little sneaky peeky of one of my favorite products in the new catalog that's coming out in January. These were die cut with the absolutely awesome stitched rectangles framelits. These are thebomb.com, okay? I have had my order since last Friday and I'm already addicted to these, okay? That's how awesome they are. So I'm gonna take, I've cut one uh, rectangle ahead of time and I'm gonna take my sentiment stamp, ink that up and I'm gonna stamp it right in the middle of that rectangle. And we'll close that up so that we don't get ink in places we don't want. And then I'm gonna go ahead and glue that onto my die cut silver foil rectangle. And these just look amazing when they're matted like this. Just stick that guy down. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? And the nice reflection from the foil. Oh, love it, love it, love it, love it. All right, I'm going to add a couple of dimensionals to the back of this guy. And one in the middle. Pop those off. Get near you. There we go. And we'll put that on the front of our card. Ooh, that's a little bit crooked. Right about there looks good. And then we're gonna add another little snowflake because, well, you can never have too many snowflakes. Well, maybe you can if you have to shovel it. <laughs> I am not a fan of shoveling snow. That's why I bought my husband a snowblower. I don't get asked to shovel anymore. It's great. And then I have a little bow that coordinates with my ribbon. And we're gonna throw that, come here you onto the front here and I don't know if you can hear that but I have two kittens outside my door that are meowing their heads off because they're out there and I'm in here and they don't like that <laughs> sorry if you can hear that um, and there's my finished card how easy was that right pretty cool all right so that is number one okay now I'm gonna show you what to do with your leftover backing okay now I haven't used all the stickers from this, so I'm not actually going to construct this card, but I'm going to show you the sample that I made where I did use my backing. So once you've used up all your stickers, um, you can use that backing as a background for one of your cards. So here is how I did it. Okay, so I started by cutting, and I'll actually, I have a kit somewhere that has all the bits in it. So I started with a piece of white cardstock. So this is four by five and a quarter. Okay, keeping in mind that my, my um, glimmer paper was cut to four by five because that's the size of the die, all right? So I went ahead and stuck that onto my white. So I have white snowflakes peeking through my um, brush out background, okay? And then I trimmed off the excess. The only reason I cut it a little bit longer is just so that I could make sure I got it nicely centered, okay? So once I've done that, um, then I went ahead and I used another die set that is coming in the new occasions catalog, and that is the, oh, I can't remember what it's called. It's got stitched heart dies, and there's this cute little scalloped edge, pe edge die with um, stitching that is just adorable. And because this die, I'll just show you on the back of this card, is four by five, do you see how you have a, an extra long border there? So by tucking this little piece in underneath, you can extend that so that you have an equal border on all sides. Isn't that cool? So that's a great little die. And so I added that detail. And then of course, I used some more of our stitched rectangle dies, which I can't get enough of, and stamped another sentiment from the beautiful Blizzard stamp set, as well as a few more snowflakes, layered those up. And then I added some of this gorgeous Knight of Navy gingham ribbon. Okay, now do you remember how I mentioned these that these little bits that you pop out of the, the middle of the snowflakes when you are using them as stickers? You want to keep them? That's so that you can fill in 
um, the centers of your snowflakes when you're using the background. Okay, so these little bits that you think you should just throw away, don't. Because you can fill things in and make your snowflakes look even more detailed. Okay, so that is number two. Quick and easy. Um, once you've used up your stickers, do not throw that backing away because it makes a perfectly good background. Okay, you just want to be extra careful when you're peeling your stickers off so you don't tear like I did here. Now I did keep that bit so that I could add that back in um, to my background when I want to use it. Okay, all right, that is that. Now we're going to get messy again. Can you believe it? I'm all about making messes today. So I just need to clear some space here. Get some stuff out of the way. And I need to clean this snowflake stamp because we're going to use it with a different color of ink. So we're going to get that out of the way. There we go. Oh, I realized I forgot to put my little silver pearls on this card. Let me show you that. See this one? I added some little silver metallic pearls on there. I just thought that extra shimmer was kind of cute. Okay, and look at the difference. Okay, this is the one that I, I just demonstrated. This is the one that I had made ahead of time. And adding those pearls does make a difference. Okay, I don't know if you can see those there. That's probably better side by side. All right, okay, moving on. We're flying through these today. I got stuff I gotta get done tonight. <laughs> so we are rolling through these projects. Okay. Now, this is kind of an outside the box idea, and some of you may shudder when I tell you this, but just work with me. Let me let me run with this, okay? I was playing around with this die, and I thought, hmm, I wonder what else you could do with it. So I thought, what if I used it as a mask for embossing paste? I wonder how that would work. So I tried it. And lo and behold, it worked really, really well. So this is a project that I made using the die as a mask. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to do that. It is so easy, you're not gonna believe it, and it does not damage your die, okay? I have done this, I've done it four or five times now, and then use the die again, not a problem, as long as you wash your die right away, all right? That's the only caution that I'm gonna give you. So, um, to do this, I'm going to use my silicone mat, which is filthy right now, but that's okay. That's what it's for. And I have a piece of Tranquil Tide cardstock. This is cut to four by five and a quarter. And I'm going to take and lay my die on a diagonal across the cardstock, just kind of like that. All right. Then I need to take some washi tape because you see how close to the edge this these images are and if I and trust me I tried it without taping it down and um, I ended up getting embossing paste in places I didn't want it so this is kind of like you know when you are painting your walls in your house and you tape things off so that you get nice clean edges and you don't get paint on the trim this is the same kind of idea so we're kind of just masking off the edges here so that when we use the embossing paste we kind of only get it where we want it all right so I'm taping this down like that. I know, Michelle, where do you see this? It is so, so stinking cool. All right, so that's taped down. I have some shimmery white embossing paste, okay? This is in the annual catalog. And this stuff I have actually not used in like ages. Like I used it a ton when it first came out and then it kind of has been sitting on my shelf for like six months and it has, it's still perfectly good. Like it's not hardened at all. So you want to make sure you keep your lid nice and tight, but it works like a charm. All right. So I have some embossing paste here. I'm going to take and spread that on my die. Now keep in mind, I have the cutting side down. Okay. That is an important note. Do not do this with your cutting side up. Okay. You're going to end up with embossing paste caught in the ridges. You're going to have a big crazy mess and then you're going to have a hard time getting the paste out of the die. All right. So we're using this with the cutting edge down. So I'm just taking and spreading this kind of like icing a cake right over my die up to where I can see the cardstock ends. Okay. And I'm going to put the lid right back on this so that I don't end up with dried out paste. Next thing I'm going to do is take a baby wipe and I'm going to wipe off my little spatula here to make sure that it doesn't end up hardened on there. So again, just quickly wipe that off so that you don't end up with the paste hardened. And then 
I am very, very carefully going to peel off my washi tape. Come on. And this tape, when I want it to stick, it doesn't stick. And when I don't want it to stick, it does like crazy. So um, I may end up tearing the paper just a bit, but that's okay. We're going to hide it. Let's see what happens. Oh, nope, not too bad. Just a little bit there. So we're going to get rid of that, and we're going to get rid of that. And now for the moment of truth. Are you ready for this, the big reveal? Here we go. Look at this. dun dun dun, dun. How cool is that? And I don't know if you can tell. It looks like it's been frosted. You know when you get those beautiful Christmas cookies that have detailed um, icing on them? Look at that. It's got awesome dimension, and it's just fabulous. And this stuff dries pretty fast. So you could do this, and in 20 minutes, be ready to finish assembling your card. Okay? Now, I'm not going to make you wait 10, 20 minutes to see the finished card. Um, I have one that I've already done and is dry. So I'm going to show you how to finish. But how cool is that? All right, now, what I'm going to do, let me just set this aside. I'm going to get my silicone mat. I'm going to wipe off the paste from there because I don't really want that to harden on there either. I'll get rid of that. And then I'm going to take, I've got a little water bath here for my dye. So I'm going to wipe off the worst of the paste. And then I'm going to drop this in the water bath. And then I'll go and clean it when I'm finished shooting my video. Okay, the water bath is just to keep that paste from hardening on there while I'm finishing up the video. Okay, so super easy, but what an awesome use. Let me get this out of here for that dye. So not only can you use it to die cut. Look at, I've got, I'm all sparkly. I'm pretty today. All right, so here is my dry one okay this is one that I did last night and we're gonna finish making this card so I have here uh, another little bit of ribbon I was all about the silver and the the blues this um, this time so I wanted to show you how to assemble this so again I'm gonna take my ribbon and adhere it to the back of my cardstock panel just like that and I'm going to go ahead and fold my card base. So this again is a five and a half by eight and a half piece of cardstock that I have scored at four and a quarter to create my card base. And then I'm going to run some adhesive on there. And we'll stick that guy down. And yes, you may have noticed I assemble my cards upside down. I don't have a reason for it. That's just the way I do it. I'm <laughs> just a little odd that way. All right, and of course I have some more of my stitched rectangles. Did I mention that I am utterly addicted to those? <laughs> now, my sentiment for this one, I don't know if you can see it. It's, um, it's a photopolymer stamp. I'll show you the stamp set that it's from. It's this one here. Sorry, this one, which is from the Warm Hearted Host Set. So this is a host exclusive that's in the holiday catalog and is going away at the end of the month. Well, January 2nd when the cat, excuse me, the catalog retires. All right. So I'm going to take a little bit of Tranquil Tide ink and I'm going to stamp that in the middle of my die cuts rectangle, just like that. Then I'm going to take my snowflakes from the beautiful blizzard set and I'm going to stamp off and just add a couple of little flurries there. And I'm going to go ahead and adhere that to my silver foil rectangle. that centered on there that looks pretty good make sure that's adhered properly and then we're gonna pop that onto the front of our card with some dimensionals come here you get rid of those backings oh you know what I forgot to do I have a strip of mini sequin trim that I'm going to put on there. I forgot to do that earlier. That's okay. We're going to look a little bit different, but it's still going to be just as pretty. Not a problem. So I'm going to just layer that right on top of my white ribbon. Why didn't one of you tell me I forgot to put this on? You're supposed to be paying attention, you guys. All right. I'm going to put this on. And we're going to put this other end on. This is a save. This is again, if there's a mistake to be made, I have made it. This is how to fix your mistakes. Okay, and then we're going to trim off the ends and just kind of let those hang. Come here, you. 
like that. There we go. Okay, and then we can pop our label on. Woo, come here, you. Things are wanting to run away from me today. Just like that. Okay, then I have another little bit of sequin trim that I'm going to add just in the bottom corner here. And another little silver metallic and white bow that we're going to add right over top of that. And then we're going to add a couple of white snowflake stickers. This is one that I haven't added brush out to. So I'll peel a few of these, get a couple of these guys off. I'll put one of these up there and we'll put another one of these down here. And then we're going to add a couple of rhinestones. Where'd you go, my rhinestones? There they are. There's another kit. So we'll just pop one into the center of this guy and a smaller one into the center of this one. And voila, fini. What do you think? So that embossing paste looks amazing. It is so super sparkly and adds fantastic dimension to your card. All right, super fun, super, super fun. And it's fun to play around with that die as a mask. Okay, all right, so I'm gonna bring in all three projects again. One, Whew. oh shoot, I dropped my dies, that's okay. One, where's my other one? Two, where'd I put my third card? There it is, oh, behind me. Thanks, Elfie. I'm glad you like those. So there are my three projects, okay? So one technique gets you two cards, right? And then extra use for that awesome, awesome die, okay? So again, there is my stamp set. I'm going to show you where you can find that in the holiday catalog. It is on page 39. Get my little sticky out of the way here. So page 39, right here, you can get the bundle for $62 right now. Um, it is 10% off, okay? And this is going away January 2nd is your last day that you can get this, all right? Um, if you don't have this set yet, this die is, it's a huge time saver. So think like next year's Christmas projects, you can have snowflakes on everything because <laughs> it's really quick and easy to make those, okay? All right, that is all for today, everybody. Thanks so much for tuning in. I hope you have a great week. Um, I'll be back next week for one more um, Tuesday Live at 5 before Christmas, and then I'll be taking a week off to enjoy Christmas with my family. Um, and then I'll be back, actually, New Year's Day to sneak peek some projects from the upcoming catalog. So um, thanks for checking in, and I will see you next week. Bye.